Hey, I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of this thing from Stanford University called Storm. It's a way to create Wikipedia-like reports on your topic with AI. It's moving into what we think of as AI agents, able to create a chain of prompts for a full task. I'll show you the basic operation, and there's a cool aspect where you can co-storm with them, putting a human in the loop at different points. Let's check it out. You get to it by going to storm.genie.stanford.edu. Enter the topic for your new article. We're going to do something AI, an article about AI chatbots in the classroom. I'll put in the topic, a chatbot effectiveness in the online classroom. You can share the motivation and what you hope to achieve with your topic. I hope to create a balanced article showing both pros and the cons of AI chatbots in the online classroom, AI, especially with AI tutors and their effectiveness. Switch it from the autonomous mode to the collaborate mode. We're going to do it on the autonomous mode. I'll click start and time lapse us forward so you can see what it creates. You can see the multi-step process happening. What's also cool is you can see the steps after the fact. There is the article. You can see the outline on the left hand side. Scroll down on the right hand side. Summary at the top. History of education. Types of chatbots. Effectiveness. Case studies. Ethical considerations. Future trends. It just kind of ends. Interestingly, as strong as AI is in summarizing, it doesn't seem to conclude these papers. It just ends it. At the top, you can see the brainstorming process. If you click there, it starts as an instructional designer, taking the role of an educational researcher and technology enthusiast. Positive, successful end of things. Basic fact writer with questions like, what are the main advantages? Specific studies, common challenges. It does provide references, which is one of the criticisms about ChatGPT is it has a hard time providing references. You'll get a variety of references from websites which aren't ideal. But you'll also see articles from Springer and other places. And these are legitimate, mostly current articles. In some ways, it's like Wikipedia. One advantage of Wikipedia is pulling all those references that support the information. The place I use Wikipedia the most is in the reference section at the bottom. You can show it as a PDF. You can download it as a PDF. You can go back to my library and see the different titles you've created. Let's do the same topic, but this time do it as a co-storm. I want it to be balanced. I want it to use real cases and scholarly articles. Let's switch to co-storm and see what happens. You can join the conversation right now. You can join the conversation right now if you see something going on, guide it or you could wait until it gets more familiar. It's starting to create the mind map here. I love Khan Academy, please include that. You now it's telling me I can switch between the conversation and the article. Drop the conversation anytime by asking a question or steering. Then we can see the article being generated. New conversation fetched. And give us some feedback on the right hand side. I don't see that con part in the article. I wonder if you have to add it somehow. Oh, it did add it. It's just out of sync with the link numbers. What happens when I regenerate the article? You can see a few examples of con. Use a writing expert to create an excellent concluding section. Summarize the main points. Give us something to think about in the final line. Some practical challenges. It's a pretty good outline overall. Starting with the background. Interesting. Showed me references for learning how to write a conclusion. Seems like something that would be in their general knowledge. Wrapping up an essay on AI chatbots. It's crucial to highlight the key points. Let's see if they've dropped that into the essay. That's funny. 
it talks about what a conclusion is versus the actual conclusion. You can see there are some rough parts. It may be something that they'll continue to work on. I like that this is open source. You can put a human in the mix and work on different aspects of the paper. I like how you can co-create. Ethan Mollick talks about co-intelligence with AI. I think that's the strongest way to move forward with AI and to keep our humanity in check, to think of it as a co-intelligence of having the first and last touch. So I like that they have put that into it. And it certainly seems better in terms of pulling articles and creating a full article. I can imagine soon that it will be tweaked to create truly academic articles with a clear outline. And maybe that you could tune the resources to only academic ones and, and the way the language is as well. Really cool idea. I think it's going to take the world by storm when it comes to writing. That's all for now.